And a welcome back to our coverage of the public outrage against rape. The National Human Rights Commission and National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons have condemned the stigmatization of rape victims by members of the public. Now, they are particularly worried about how law enforcement agents humiliate victims when cases are reported. Miriam Mohammed reports. The public outcry against rape epidemic in Nigeria continues to gain tractions on a daily basis. While it may have been a crime that didn't particularly attract attention, the lockdown imposed by the federal government in its bid to curtail the COVID-19 pandemic has brought glaringly into focus just how serious and rampant rape is in the Nigerian society. The National Human Rights Commission estimates that out of 114 complaints received by the commission, the Southeast account for 36%, South-South 26%, North Central 19%, Northwest 12%, Southwest 12%, and Northeast 4%. Some Nigerians blame the country's legal system for making it hard to convict rapists. The recent rape and murders of Vera Omozua, Barakat Bello, Grace Oshiago have prompted thousands of Nigerians to recently sign the petition calling for an end to the sexual violence. This press this evening. The National Human Rights Commission and NAPTIP call on the federal government to put in place laws, policies, programs directed at addressing and eliminating all forms of violence against girls, women, children, persons with disabilities and men. The consensus is that laws such as Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015 should be tailored to address the issues of rape and sexual gender-based violence and should prescribe punishment for predators. We need to pass the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law in all the states as well as amend existing laws on rape to ease prosecution and the importance of this cannot be overemphasized. In order for us not to lose our cases based on technicalities, we are now trying to see how to work with doctors because even the doctors have a role to play. Most of them don't even have rape kits. Most of them are probably not even trained on how to present these evidence. But then in our awareness campaigns, we tell the victims, even if your pant is shredded, keep it in a bag and present it to an active. That is when it is committed in Abuja. Victims of rape and sexual gender-based violence are encouraged to speak out in order to facilitate multi-stakeholder actions in the communities and states. The National Human Rights Commission and NAPTIP has called on all the law enforcement agencies to put an end to the scourge of rape, murder and other dehumanizing acts in Nigeria. Maria Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja.